Yo, welcome to another video. If you are into football shirts, then you've probably already seen them. Patches. I thought it was a great idea to dedicate a whole video to patches. I'm gonna try to explain you as much relevant information as possible. You know what? I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's get straight into this video. For those of you who don't know what a patch is, I came up with my own definition. <laughs> a patch is, in my opinion, a logo that represents a specific league the team is playing in. This is not going to be a PhD thesis or something, so I'm going to give you some examples. Over here, I got a beautiful PSG Jordan 2021 Fortier, and as you can see, it's got the Ligue 1 patch on the right sleeve. Ligue 1 is basically the name of the French Football League. Paris Saint-Germain is from the French city, Paris, of course. <laughs> so Paris Saint-Germain plays in the Ligue 1, and that's why this sleeve patch is right over here. So back in the 2021 season, players like Neymar and Mbappé had a patch like this on their shirt. This was not the regular patch for the Ligue 1 because PSG won the Ligue 1 the season before. So this patch is a special champions patch and that means that it's different from the patches other Ligue 1 teams had on their shirts back in the 2021 season. But the Ligue 1 was not the only competition Paris Saint-Germain played in in the 2021 season. Over here, I got an example. This is the Paris Saint-Germain 2021 third shirt with Champions League patches. In this season, they also played in a Champions League. That's why the Ligue 1 patch is not the only patch that's being featured on PSG shirts from that season. We got the Champions League star ball on the right sleeve and on the left sleeve, we got the respect patch. So patches differ depending on the competition a specific team is playing in. Now, you might ask yourself, have patches always been a thing? That's actually a very good question. I tried to do some research and I came up with the following general idea. As far as I know, the use of patches started around the early 90s. And obviously, back then, they looked kind of different. For example, the first Champions League patch was introduced in the 92-93 season. And if you compare that specific patch to the modern Champions League patches, a lot has changed in my opinion. And I think it's very cool to see this evolution after all these years. The general idea is that sleeve patches weren't used as much as they are right now. If we go back to the 80s and maybe even the 70s, we can see that the designs of football shirts were way more minimalistic than modern football shirts. Another change is that patches have become way more available to the public than back in the days. I feel like back in the days, they were just used for player shirts and not the shirts you could buy in the fan stores. And that's kind of hard to imagine if you look at a shirt like this. Now you might ask yourself, what type of patches do we have? Well, considering that there are more than 200 football leagues, I can tell you there are a lot of different patches, a lot. In this video, I'm gonna limit myself to the Champions League, Serie A, Premier League, Bundesliga, Ligue 1 and La Liga. Over here, I got two FC Barcelona shirts, one from the 12-13 season and one from the 2021 season. The La Liga patch on the 2021 home shirt is the patch the way we know it nowadays. But until the 2015-2016 season, this LFP patch was used on the sleeves. I should also mention that the 2012-2013 season is a fans version and the 2021 home shirt is a player version. That kind of explains the difference in material of both of the patches, but I'll explain more about that later. Second league I wanted to take a look at is the Ligue 1. Over here I got the Paris Saint-Germain shirt I just showed you with the Ligue 1 winner badge. And the other shirt I got is a Lyon 1819 home shirt with normal Ligue 1 patch. This is another good example of the fact that the design of patches is constantly changing. Let's continue with the Premier League. Over here, I got a Tottenham 1718 home shirt with Premier League patches on both of the sleeves. And I also got Arsenal 1011 away rivals of Tottenham Hotspur with all their Premier League patches, actually Barclays Premier League patches on both of the sleeves. Over here, I got the AC Milan 1314 home shirt with Serie A patch, and I got the AC Milan 2021 home shirt also with Serie A patch. Very cool to see the evolution of the patches in Serie A. Over here, an example of a shirt from the German Bundesliga, the Dortmund 1617 home shirt with Bundesliga patch on the right sleeve, and on the left sleeve, we got the Hermes patch. This was one of our sponsors back in the days. I actually got a Bayern Munich shirt with it 
Bundesliga winter patch, but it's framed and I don't want to get it out of the frame, gonna be honest. <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, two examples of shirts with the Champions League patch. Over here I got the Real Madrid away shirt for the 22-23 season with Champions League patches, 14 times Champions League winner. And over here I got the Ajax 18-19 away shirt with Champions League patches on both of the sleeves. This is another good example of the evolution of patches. By the way, Champions League patches are really interesting because there are some specific requirements for the Champions League winner badge. In order for teams to wear this special Champions League winner badge, they either need to have won five Champions League titles or three consecutive Champions League titles. Let's apply this knowledge. Ajax got four Champions League titles, but they still got this Champions League winner badge on their shirt. This is because they won a Champions League in 71-72 and 73, which gives them the right to wear this special patch. If we take a look at this Juventus 15-16 third shirt, we can see that the special Champions League winner badge is missing. And that's very logical because they won a Champions League two times. Another example is this Liverpool 17-18 home shirt. Until the 17-18 season, Liverpool had won five Champions League titles, which means that they're eligible to wear this special Champions League winner badge. I probably don't need to explain the case of Real Madrid because they've won 14 Champions League titles in total. This means that they're the only team to wear the special Champions League winner badge with number 14 in it. That's a big flex. Flex alert, flex alert. But what types of material are patches made of? Well, due to the fact there are so many different football leagues, seasons and teams, there's quite a lot of variety. Nevertheless, there are some materials that are often used for patches. For example, Lextra. Lextra is extremely popular for the use of patches. A good example are the Champions League patches on the sleeves of shirts. Those patches are made of Lextra. This type of material actually feels a bit softer in general. If you touch a patch, it's kind of smooth. Lextra is also used for the Ligue 1 patches I showed you before. And you can kind of recognize the material if you compare it to the Champions League patches we just saw. Same story for some types of Premier League patches. The material is a bit softer. The second popular material that's used for patches is rubber silicone. A good example of the use of rubber silicone are the City Out patches I just showed you. The patches on themselves feel a bit more rigid. We also got the use of soft plastic for patches. A good example are the Bundesliga patch and the Hermes patch on this Dortmund shirt. The patch feels way smoother and it's kind of thin and fragile at the same time. And the last popular material are actually embroidered patches. For example, the La Liga patch on the sleeve of the Barcelona shirt. The patch feels way thicker and you can even see it seems on the inside of the shirt. These types of patches are actually way more solid than plastic patches, for example. You'll mainly see embroidered patches on older shirts. And your next question might be, but where on the shirt can they be used? Well, the most common place for a patch to be applied onto is on at least one of the sleeves of the shirt. This can either be one side, for example, the FC Barcelona shirt I just showed you, or on both of the sleeves, which is the case for many shirts with Champions League patches. The use of patches is not only limited to the sleeves, they can also be placed on the front of the shirt, which is the case for this Real Madrid 1718 third shirt. We got the golden FIFA World Champions patch of 2017 just above the Adidas, but a patch can also be placed between the team crest and the brand, which is the case for this Real Madrid 1516 away shirt. We got the FIFA World Champions patch of 2014 in the middle of the shirt. Some other important information you should know is that shirts with patches are usually more expensive than shirts without patches. This is not always the case because sometimes shirts are sold with the patch already applied onto it, which is the case for this FC Barcelona shirt with embroidered patch. This video has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. This video has also been quite informative. So if you want to see more of these kind of videos, just let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you want to see next time and I see you soon.